What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. You know, I, I, I stopped making so many Kevin Samuels videos, but Kevin Samuels content is so uh, amazing. Not that he just does a good job um, with his show and the production of it and the consistency of it. But I believe what is so amazing about Kevin Samuels show is it's a wild card. It's unpredictable. You don't know the pandemic that might occur, if you will, on the show on any given day. You know, that's what is so explosive about it. And people understand, you know, how if you want to say, uh, you know, up front, he can be how cutthroat Kevin Samuels can sometimes be with some guests and just be like really blunt. But regardless of the fact, his detractors will still call in. They will still talk to him, right? And it makes for a lot of vir viral content across social media. I didn't get a chance to see this show live um, due to where I'm living at because of the time difference. But there was a young lady. It sounds like she's a New Yorker. I mean, I know our people. She does sound like an East Coaster. Um, and she's a nice looking lady, decent looking lady. And I, I caught the part of the, the, the video where she's talking about that she has four kids, um, as a baby mama. Okay. And before the fourth kid, she was going to get engaged to some man. All right. But she said that she felt like he wasn't so mature right and so kevin's like well well what do you mean and she was like well yeah you know i saw some things about him um that you know if i would have if i would have married him i would have discovered them but because i had a baby by him i discovered him and basically trying to it didn't make any sense but she's trying to say well it's good that i didn't marry him because there are some things i would have discovered about him but i got a baby by him anyway and what what makes it so interesting in this particular case is that the lady says that the man asked her or she gave him an option well listen do you want to marry me or do you want the baby he chose the baby that should have been a red flag that this particular man was not ready for marriage okay um however she tries to explain that She's very comfortable in accepting that situation because her aunt is a baby mama. She's a baby mama. Her mother was a baby mama. Her grandmother was a baby mama. Okay. And I, I, I want to talk about this because this situation, I heard Minister Jab say this and Kevin Samuel say this also. A lot of sisters are complaining about what's going on with their kids' lives, the the minute they have, baby days they have, sometimes it's multiple. But they're they don't want to marry before they carry. Okay? They don't have a problem. Some of them being in relationships with guys, some of them um, you know, going, you know, be, you know, banging back and forth out of relationships. But when it comes to marrying these guys, they don't hold any value in that. They, they hold more value in being a mother, but they try to make excuses for that. And, you know, in other words, acting as if it's not that bad. Okay. And the reality is, is that I'm sorry, this is going to come off egregious or mean, but I come from Del Paso Heights. I've seen young ladies like her, young ladies who have three, four, five kids by different women, by different men. Okay. Um, I've seen their kids grow up. I've seen very few of those kids make it. Some of those kids get normal jobs. Many of those kids go to jail. And to be honest, from the outside looking in, you don't want to be around a community of people like that. 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna call her for what it is. I grew up there. I've grown up in uh, South Side of Compton before, in Atlantic Drive neighborhood. I've seen that. The only thing that was worse was the guys in you know uh, in Atlantic Drive had more guns, and then there was the beef with you know Nutty Block all the time, in 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 in, in, in Santana Block Compton Crip, you know. The reality is that I don't want to be anywhere near somebody like that. I don't. Because it's, it's dangerous. And a lot of African Americans also don't want to be around situations like this because it's dangerous. And the reality is that, you know, she makes a lot of excuses for why her life is that way. But Kevin Samuels points out hey, listen, you know better. Okay? You know that these are bad situations. What about these children that you're putting out in the world? Now, and he makes a great point when he says, listen, when you start putting these kids out in the world, now you're impacting other people. Okay? It becomes the world's problem. Because the, the, the thing about the American government and the American society, when people decide that they want to do things that they can't take care of, society has to pay for your mistakes. All right? We don't want to talk about that, but it's real true. Society has to pay for what people make mistakes on. Okay? The black community pays the cost, not only, you know, in terms of crimes, okay? Um, in terms of property values going down no matter where you stay. All right? People um, scared for their lives because we do know, and it's not always true, but a lot of the areas in black America that are the most dangerous are the ones where you see a lot of the single parents there. Okay, whether they're men or women, however you want to look at it, all right? The kids don't have the foods to eat. They don't have the things they need. A lot of these kids are very, very bright, very intelligent, but no resources there. What do they turn and turn into the streets? Okay, then the black community can't get ahead. There's no money there for these children. There's no future there for these children. You know, then you have one guy trying to really make it and save the whole family, as you see with NBA players. And if that happens, he spends all his wealth taking care of the rest of the losers in his family that can't do anything. He ends up broke. It's a lose lose situation, all because you don't want to take your family serious. You know, and the reality is, as black men and even as black women, we can't be a burden on the community. All right. As, as black men and black women, we just can't do that to our people. Our people deserve better than that. To be a burden on them, to be a burden on your family. OK, to put kids out in the world that can't compete. I'm talking about black men and black women. Our people deserve better than that. And when you try to tell people about, hey, you shouldn't do this, they, they want to make excuses about it. Oh, it's not that bad. Yes, it is that bad. Look at Chicago. Look at Detroit. Look at Memphis. Look at Little Rock. Look at Atlanta in certain sections. Look at Mobile. Look at Birmingham, Alabama. Look at certain sections of D.C. Look at every place where you have Jackson, Mississippi, where you have a high African-American dense population and Democratic voters that you will, you will find. Single parent led homes, no fathers in fractured families. And if you and, 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 and people, you know, want to talk about Kevin, about how much he hates women. Listen, where's the kudos for Kevin Samuels by telling the black community the truth? Nobody else in the black community is telling people this stuff on the mainstream. And Kevin has over a million subscribers. I mean, we talk about the metaphor, but he's much bigger than us. Nobody is telling black people this on the mainstream. Everybody is encouraging this behavior. But when you don't have businesses, you don't have um, great young men to marry your young daughters and vice versa. Don't complain. You're trying to shut a guy up who's actually caring about the black community, but some are too stupid to see it. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. 
subscribe with the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Minute Curve t-shirt. And as you know, the performer remains at an all-time high. I'm out.